In today's video, we're gonna show you how to create an awesome email signature in Gmail. One that's not just an image or a single image, but one that's made up of text and images. That way you can uh, have it be more dynamic and have multiple links in there. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use Google Docs to create it and we'll bring it in to our signatures. So first, if you need to access to, to access the signatures, you're going to hit this little gear icon for settings and click see all settings. And if you scroll down, you can see your signatures and we'll end up creating a new one. But instead of creating it here inside this box, you don't have a lot of options. We're going to actually go over to Google Docs to get there. If you have a, a Google account, you just sign into that and go to docs google.com and create a new document and here you'll see the basic makeup of creating the signature and I'll show you step by step how to do it so we're, what we're going to start with is actually inserting a table and depending on the styling that you want to do you could do two rows uh, multiple rows multiple columns and uh, in this case let's do a two column table and what I want to do is we'll kind of recreate this top one right here and we'll set the the boundaries of each cell and we can insert uh, like our profile like a photo over here and I'll show you also how to round it out so it's a little bit more dynamic so to insert an image will you can upload it from multiple sources. I'm going to upload from my computer. So here's the image that we could insert, insert it in. But if you don't want it to be square, I'll show you actually a trick on how to crop it to be a circle like that. I, personally, I like the, the look of that makes it a little bit more dynamic. So what we're going to do is instead we'll take this picture and we'll insert it outside of the table. And let's upload from the computer again. We'll select this photo. And now we're actually going to cut it. And we're going to go insert drawing new. And we're going to actually create a drawing off of this and insert it in. And now we actually have the option to crop it with a shape. And in this case, we're going to use a basic oval. All right, now that we have the image cropped, the next step is to actually download it so we can insert it again. So you go ahead and click Actions, Download as a ping, and then we're gonna insert that. Wherever you've downloaded it, go ahead and insert that again. Click Upload from Computer find where you downloaded that image and insert. Now you'll notice it's got some white space. Uh, we're just gonna crop it to fix that. You could have, you can spend more time in the drawing to take out the white space, but I found this is the quickest way. And click enter and there we go. Now we can take this image, cut it and paste in there. That's how you get the round image. And yeah, it's quite simple. You don't need a lot of editing experience to be able to do that. Next, it's quite simple. You go into this column and you just start typing away the, the kind of information that you want in here. Uh, you can put it in pretty much any order and uh, choose your font and style it to where uh, where you're happy with it. And what I love about this is you can actually create hyperlinks for any of these. You can put a phone number or if someone clicks it, they can, can access it. You know, company name. And I, I work for a church, so we can I can also put a link to like our service time, something like that. And then you can also put in these social icons. Now, I'll copy these, 
paste them in myself. And let's shrink this a little bit, resize it. There we go. Move this over and you'll see um, we can get rid of these borders in a moment, but it's nice to have them there until you're done editing it. So put whatever kind of information you want and I'll show you a great little trick on how to get even these social icons. If you go into insert, you can insert from a search on the web. And this is how you can get the, the social icons. You can go Facebook, Facebook icon, and you can find one that you like and insert it in and click insert. Now it'll be a lot, it's probably not gonna be the size you want, so resize it. Let's go something like that. And there you go, and then you can use that first one, you can copy and paste it. To keep the size the same, you can right click and click replace image and do a search on the web and do your next icon. Let's do that one, replace, and there you go. So that's how you keep the size consistent. And then you would uh, add a link. You can add links to all of these. There'll be a link straight to your social uh, media accounts. So uh, this is a great simple way, and I'll show you the, the last little trick. You can click on each of these, each part of the table's border and you can edit them individually. So if you click right up here, I want to get rid of this border, give that a border width of none. You can also select multiple if you hold shift and I'll get rid of all these borders, move it to zero. And then this one, I'm going to increase the border size. Uh, it's a little too heavy. Let's do one and a half. And then you can change the color to whatever you want. Let's go with a nice blue. And there you go. You've got yourself the, the setup for a signature. So once you're happy with it, once you style it the way that you want, you highlight the whole thing and click copy. Then we bring it back go back into uh, Gmail, click Create New Signature, New Signature, Create, and then we paste it right in there. And there it is. It's not going to look necessarily identical to how we created it in this little box, but once we create a new email, whoop, don't forget to click save. Scroll down, click save changes. Then let's write a new email and you can see, you can click insert signature and there you go. That's how you create an awesome signature for Gmail. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna get more tutorials like this. And yeah, if you found it helpful, be sure to click the like button as well.